this is going to be a continuing series uh, importing and exporting file formats uh, using the FBX file format to bring scenes from Maya to Max and from Max to Maya. Uh, the last tutorial I did was the PhysX plugin, Rigid Body Solver, uh, just having a, a simple primitive sphere, ball call it, and we exported that uh, after completing that uh, from Maya and brought that into Max. This one, this side, we're going to do the Max side and we're going to bring that and import it into Maya when we're completed with that scene. Um, now, I've already prepared a scene here um, and I'm not going to go into the settings for the PhysX settings because I did it on the Maya side. I'll brush over them, but I'm not going to go in big depth about it. Um, I've already pretty much preset the scene up. Um, I've got a, a plane on the very bottom here, again, like uh, before. And I've just added a quick texture, sand texture on there um, to make it a little bit more interesting. And I've got a ball that I got from Turbo Squid. It's a beach ball. And it's a free um, model there on their website. So I'd like to thank them for that, uh, for this demonstration. All right, so let me go ahead and just, um, I already grouped these in the PhysX uh, solver. So the, the ground plane is a dynamic static object and the the sphere is a dynamic object. So let me go ahead and push play on that. And hopefully you can see that and the frame rate's not too bad. Um, I'll rewind it again and just play it. So it just comes down, you know, using the basic gravity default settings. And then I, I messed with the bounce and the, um, the friction and the density and mass. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to pick the ball and I want to go ahead and bake that down to keyframes. And I can go ahead and I can delete the actual modifier on the modifier stack if I wanted to. And it would and obviously it would still it would still play so you can kind of scrub through it and you can see it working. It's uh, physics and so now what we want to do is simply just export this out of max using the uh, film box FBX extension and I'm going to overwrite one that I had previously done save over that one and I'm going to export those in scale factor is going to be centimeters Okay, I do get an error for geometry conversion and that has to do with the fact that I'm using editable polys instead of an editable mesh. It still comes in fine. And then of course my, my export for my texture, um, there's, a, there's a mapping issue that I have uh, on that and I didn't correct it. But it still comes over. You can, you can fix all those things yourself. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to the Maya side. And I'm going to go ahead and import that f scene file. Okay, and we'll go to the camera view and we'll push play. And there it is. It also, just a note, it does, for some reason, I haven't figured this out yet, it actually t changes the time, my timeline, from 240 frames to 190. Now, you can, you can go back in here and, and change uh, change those uh, the timeline again yourself um, it, it, it does it based on a 24 frame per second so if I change this in my settings and I just go to 30 frames a second it goes ahead and changes it back so somewhere in the conversion I cannot find it yet it actually changes your frame range based on a 24 frame per second thing but you just change that in the settings there and it goes right back to frames 240 frames so you're good to go to render it either using mental ray or whatever render you want to use okay um, that's it um, like I said we're gonna be doing more and more advanced tutorials uh, for the CG Brothers 